Alright, you ready to talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 3? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, let's let's go. <laughs> Are you beating Apple for the Galaxy Z Fold 3? People wanna know. Keep us oh, oh, that's a good question. All right, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Oh, all right, what up, y'all? So today, y'all, I'm gonna challenge myself not to use my iPhone that I have right here. I'm gonna challenge not to use my iPhone for 24 hours, and I'm gonna give the Galaxy Z Fold 3 a chance. Now, I don't know what I'm actually gonna expect, but I know it's gonna be something. It's either gonna be something good or it's gonna be something bad. But nonetheless, it's gonna be something. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's retire this bad boy here for 24 hours. Whew. Kind of nervous, y'all. <laughs> All right, what up, y'all? Right now, man, it is about, what time is it? It is about 10.50 at night right now. I'm about to lay my iPhone down, and I'm not going to touch it. I feel like I should just go ahead and just rip this Band-Aid off early and just not look at it. Now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm kind of missing my iPhone already, and I ain't even took the SIM card out of it yet. But I'm going to give this Galaxy Z Fold a real chance and let y'all know what I pretty much think about it and just take y'all through my full experience with it. And uh, we're we just going to see what this Fold life is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy right here. You can kind of see, don't mind, don't mind my junkie desk. But I'm going to go ahead and unbox it, get my apps all set up, my phone numbers, email, and everything. So that way I can start the day with a fresh new slate in the morning. So let's go ahead and set that up right now. What up, y'all? Good morning, man. Right now, y'all, it is about 7.30 in the morning, man. Got the Galaxy Z Fold here in hand. Told y'all, we're going 24 hours with this bad boy. All right, so I'm getting ready to try to cook myself some breakfast here. My wife does this, like, amazing dish, and I figured, you know, why not just try it myself? I'm going to try to look up the recipe while I got this. This gives me a chance to try the phone and everything, how I would normally use it, check my email, all of that. But uh, other than that, y'all, let's go ahead and get the day going. 24 hours, Galaxy Z Fold. <sighs> I'm nervous, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> so I got the Galaxy Z falling house, flipping open clothes as jealousy grows from the spouse. Woo! We iPhone gang, no cap. I had to try it out. Some get it for the clout, but me, I had to take it out. Side ride, we Michigan, ain't no road tie. Had the Z for one, loved it, left it, now I'm backslide. Uh -huh. Videos on the way to test squad, you know we stay grinding, but when them screens touch, it's like two worlds when they coinciding. Oh, all right. So it is about 8.30 right now. I got about 18 minutes or so left when it comes to the food. Still been using the Fold. I will say, man, I do like the screen as far as how big everything is. Makes it a whole lot easier to be able to see a lot of stuff. But uh, still testing it. But right now I'm ready for this food to come out because your boy is hungry. I will check back in with y'all here in a second. my iPhone like there's I mean there's parts of it I miss and then there's parts that I don't miss I still got all my applications on here I still got my Twitter I got my Instagram I got my YouTube but then there's elements that I am missing like uh, iMessage for sure because a lot of my friends is still on iPhone so it's like I can't get like the messages from the group chats for some reason and then there's also like the fact that I don't have airdrop like being an Apple user like not having airdrop or I mean granted like I know they have their own feature on here but with me having a lot of Apple devices like airdrop is a yeah, that's a big one. I really wish you could have airdrop me some of that breakfast the other day <laughs> that looked so good. I know right I, I didn't burn the kitchen down either. How was your experience <laughs> using that uh, during breakfast? Uh, it was cool because like having the larger screen is pretty dope. So like while I was in there, you know, whipping up that, whipping up, whipping up that work. <laughs> uh, and no, it was cool. It was so, cool to see the recipes and all so that on the screen. To, we have to know the question because you said your wife makes it, right? Yeah. So who makes it better? <laughs> well, of course I make it better. I mean, you saw the pictures. <laughs> Y'all saw the pictures. Your boy make it better. We'll cut that out. <laughs> no, we ain't cutting that out. We ain't cutting that out. Y'all see, y'all boy, I get down in the kitchen. Just letting y'all know. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it is right at 9 a.m. Just finished my breakfast. Watched a little show on the fold. I'm getting ready to get my 9 to 5 work in here real quick. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to check back in with y'all a little later.
All right, y'all, so right now it is lunchtime, finally. Been working all freaking day, but uh, let me go ahead and just give y'all just a quick little update of what the battery life is looking like. Uh, we're looking at about 93%, which is actually really dang on good. I've been watching, you know, a little Netflix here and there, uh, checking out uh, my Twitter emails, that kind of stuff like that. So for it to be 93% still, uh, it's actually pretty good. Now, I do actually got some errands I need to do real quick. I need to run by Target, get some stuff for an upcoming trip that I'm about to take. So let me go ahead and put the address in and try out this Google Maps and just see if it's much better than Apple Maps. All right, y'all, so I figured it'd be a good time to actually test out the camera on here, here, Target. And uh, I gotta run in here real quick and actually go grab some, um, I gotta go grab some stuff uh, like cleaning supplies, uh, that type of stuff like that for when I actually travel because we wiping down planes wherever we go. Y'all, so I pretty much got everything that I need to get up out of here. So uh, now we can go ahead and check out of all of this stuff and uh, let's go grab something to eat. Let's go. So I think y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and grab probably some, some chick fil -A. Uh, I think that's what we gonna grab today. Actually, you know what? Do I wanna do broccoli? I might, I might, I might go broccoli on them. I'm back. I got my lunch now. Uh, right now, let's let's do a, let's do a quick battery check right now. So right now, y'all, I'm at 76 percent is the battery life that i'm on right now which i'm not gonna lie it's actually pretty good i did a lot as far as recording on it uh while i was out i uh, also used the apple maps and all of that while i was waiting on my food i watched a little bit of netflix as well but nonetheless i got my food but quick quick little thing i want to talk about with y'all real quick so i'm at culver's right i'm getting my food got my got my food right here so i told him i said you know what i want to make my meal a large he was like well we can make the fry a large but we can't make the actual drink a large so i'm like well, why not? He's like, well, we don't have any large cups. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. No worries. Can you just charge me for a large meal, including a large drink, and just give me two mediums? Won't that pretty much equal up to, like, a large? Like, I feel like it would. And he was like, nah, we can't do that. So nonetheless, I'm stuck with a medium drink with a large meal. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead, man, eat this real quick before I have to get back to work. And then after I get off work, I got to go run to another place called Sonorama so I can actually go look at some of the things I'm trying to do for my C-Squad members. Again, shout out to all the C-Squad members out there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, man. I'll check back in with y'all a little bit. So we got to know about the juice, the battery life. Okay. The, so, ju the juice. The juice. <laughs> the juice. That's what we call it. All right. Oh, what, how was that? Like, was it like bad, good, good, bad? Uh, I, in between? <laughs> well, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I think one, the battery life that I've experienced on here is actually pretty dope because, like, for me using it, I watched like some Netflix, uh, been all over on IG and Twitter. Uh, I even responded back to a couple of my emails too. And, like, the battery life, I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty legit. I think I was at like at noon, I think I was at like maybe 70, like 80, 70 percent still. Like, uh, and again, I watched a ton of Netflix on here. I watched that new show, Family Reunion. Mm -hmm. Fire show, by the way. You know, fire, I fire show. That. You got to check it out. When you think about what this phone actually has, like, when you start looking at the fact that there's two screens that this thing is actually powering, um, and for the battery life to be still somewhat efficient like that, I think it's definitely a dub for sure. I know, like, with my iPhone, there's plenty of things on there that I would miss by not having it so what so are you saying this 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 challenge gonna be your challenge oh, next i don't know okay all right okay <laughs> don't talk that talking that. you ain't gonna want to you don't want to do don't it know. <laughs> uh, but what's like the one thing that you miss from your iphone wow um i think it's a hundred percent like things being default like, and what I mean by that is like, if I pick up my iPhone, right? There's a lot of stuff that's just set as like good defaults for the phone. I feel like with this phone here, there's a lot of stuff I gotta go into the settings and then I have to change it first, right? So like, I have to go in and change like, for example, like Instagram, I gotta go into the settings to make it full screen versus like picking up my iPhone, like it's automatically set to a lot of those default settings. Also, like if I'm in, uh, like the screen resolution, like I have to go in and actually set it to like its highest resolution to be 120 hertz screen refresh rate. So 
I think it's a lot of those different things that I wish was kind of like set by default that they don't. And it's just like a ton of freaking settings in this phone. I know I was only supposed to get one, but <laughs> I think the other one's probably going to be, honestly, iMessage. Like iMessage is a big one. Like that's a, that's a big, you don't realize how much that's a biggie I mean, until you, you, you don't have it. green on the screen, that's like a no-no. See, the green bubble, I ain't even going to lie. Apple was pretty smart with that marketing because it is something about being in a group chat with everybody and then that one person switches the whole message to that green bubble Changes but the whole, the whole vibe is just <laughs> off in the message all right y'all so the work day is finally over and uh i gotta go run to this place here real quick uh near me called sinorama uh because i'm working on something here hold on let me grab it real quick let me put the camera down so y'all can see what i'm getting ready to what I'm getting ready to try to do here. So I got these, uh, so I bought these things over here on Amazon. So they're like these boxes or whatever. So uh, for my members that are out there, shout out again to all my C-Squad members. Uh, I'm working on an entire like welcome package uh, for them for actually joining. Because when you join here on this squad, when you join, when you click that join button below, man, you getting, like I said, a t-shirt uh, that's gonna go along with it, which is gonna be an exclusive t-shirt. It's only for my Diamond Tier members, but this is gonna be a part of something that they're gonna be getting that's gonna be special. So I gotta go to this place called Sinorama that's near me. And uh, I gotta see exactly, you know, if they're gonna be able to do the design that I wanna actually get on the box. And then I also got their t-shirts and all of that kind of stuff like that being printed up right now. Because like I said, if I'm gonna do something, y'all know me, I gotta do it right. And it's the only way, it's the only way to be. All right, so let me go ahead and run to these couple places that I gotta go to right now. And uh, I'm gonna take the fold along with me and uh, we, gonna, we gonna see what it's like. So let me call them real quick. This is Sinorama. 5.30, okay, all right, well, I should be there soon. Okay. All right, uh, let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I had a change of plans. Uh, so I was actually gonna go to the place Sinorama, but I ended up calling them. And this is what they told me. Like, Buddy was just like, all right, I got, it. he was like, uh, I asked him, I was like, well, what time are you gonna be there? And he was like, well, well, first off, I asked him where they open. And then he was like, yeah, we open. I was like, cool, well, I'll be there here in about 15 minutes. He's like, well, actually, uh, we close at 5.30, but I won't actually be back until like 4.30. But nonetheless, I had to get ready to go to this game here. Uh, that I'm at right now, this little event that I'm at. Uh, nonetheless, so that was my change of plans. So here we are, I'm at the game, I'm filming with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and uh, I'm gonna take some pictures while I'm in here. Okay. Price and kinda high, you know I'm not convinced. Let's get into this video, voice my thoughts from the dark abyss. Squad. <laughs> Wait, you know I ain't done. Squad running back up in it. Round two flow, man. These bars, they never counterfeit it. Reverse snap back is the drip. You know I'm coming with it. So, I just want me to do this challenge. Mm -hmm. So, well, if you want to do the challenge, well, can you handle the, the challenge? Thing, is the you question. Know, the biggest thing for me is I need to know how's that camera working on that phone. I mean, okay. If we talking iPhone to this phone, I would 100% go back to iPhone camera because the front facing camera is decent. The back rear cameras is also okay. This inside camera though, is a no-go like this is a camera that i felt like they shouldn't even they shouldn't even have had this camera on the phone like i would have rather them just immediately just take the camera off of the front facing on the inside of this phone when you open it and then just give us the cameras on the back give us the spicy cameras because these ain't the spicy cameras and especially for this phone being eighteen hundred dollars which is yeah exactly so, it's been eight... they gave you an eighteen hundred dollar phone and they had glued a fuji disposable camera wow inside. not the fuji disposable camera <laughs> but i'm just gonna say it's not iPhone level, in my opinion. I think iPhone still is king when it comes to the overall camera on the smartphone. Well, it sounds like you don't like the camera that much. So nah, I, I think they could have did better with the camera. So, well, I, well, I guess I gotta know, like, what's something you didn't like about the phone, about the Fold, and also, like, what was one of the biggest challenges too, as well? So what I didn't like about the phone, honestly, there's not really a whole lot to dislike. Oh, I, I got it. So one of the things that I don't like about this phone that I will have to mention is, uh, I feel like the Touch ID side on here, the fingerprint sensor on the side, is not good at all. I feel like there's multiple times where I've had to put my finger on here and it doesn't register. I don't know if it's like maybe my palms are sweaty from being like outside in the heat and different things like that. But I think the other thing is too is if you are a darker skinned person like myself, if you are a beautiful melanated person like myself, uh, the front facing camera when you guys are using Face ID to actually unlock the phone, it does not read it 
if you guys are in darker situations. Unlike the iPhone, I notice my iPhone can unlock regardless if I'm in pitch blackness, um, it can see me still. So this phone here, in order to use the face ID recognition, you have to be in well lit situations, which is why I have both of them set on here. Both of those need like huge improvements. All right, y'all, so right now it is right at 12.55 in the morning. Uh, I got about 10% of battery life left on this, man. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I did it, man. I completed my challenge of putting away my iPhone, y'all, for 24 hours to try out the new Galaxy Z Fold 3. And to be honest with y'all, it's not a bad phone at all. Like I talked about this in my video of some of the things that I like about it. And then I also talked about some of the things that I dislike about it. Now with this type of technology still being new, there are a lot of things that would need to happen in the like optimization department for like a bunch of applications to natively be optimized for the new wide open screen ratio that y'all see right here uh, to pretty much fill up the entire screen because besides that y'all, I think it is a very interesting phone. So yeah, man, I just wanted to do this challenge because it was just something that was new to me, something that I wanted to bring y'all that was kind of like of a different type of content. And uh, yeah, I, I wanna challenge y'all to just try new technology, man. Like get out there, try something new. Don't always be stuck in a box and say, oh, I'm an Apple person or oh, I'm a Samsung person. I want to challenge you guys to uh, get these devices, whether it's a smartphone, whether it's headphones, whether it's computers or whatever else that is, man, just get out there and try something different, man. Don't be stuck in your ways of, uh, of only saying that you use these and use that because you never know. Sometimes you can switch to something and you're probably gonna like it. But nonetheless, y'all, the Galaxy Z Fold 3, in my opinion, is actually really dope. It's a really dope phone, man. And uh, I think for those people out there who are Samsung lovers, I definitely think they're gonna like this phone 100%. Now, again, I still don't really care for the cameras too much, but overall, y'all, it's not a bad phone at all, man. Just don't think that price is right. I think it should be somewhere around $1,300. Now, if Apple was to actually make one of these, y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I'm all over it, man. So let's go, Tim Cook. Like, get, get in that kitchen, my guy. Let's, let's get to it. <laughs> so we need to know the ultimate question. Are you leaving Apple for the Galaxy Z Oh, that's a good question. All right, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Am, okay, first off, am I leaving Apple? No, I'm not leaving Apple by any means. But I will say, in the near future though, I will own a Galaxy Z Fold. 